Welcome back, everybody. It's I, your host, Mr. Spicy. We are here again today for Freaking Cheap Fridays, where we look at games that are $10 or less. And today, we are having round two with Autonauts, which is a free game, though the developer does encourage donations. If you enjoy it, there will be a link in the description below. But here we go. Be sure to check out round one, which was last week's video. I've done some more work this week. Uh, I've done some revamping with the base. And holy crap, look at all those trees. Uh, I found a better way to organize the trees. I have also done some programming that works pretty well. Joey here is going to take seedlings from the tray three at a time and then plant to the nearest seed holes. And that's why I have all these trees right now. I'm actually out of seeds. Uh, Drew over here finds the nearest three tree seeds and then puts them into the planter, the seedling tray. I have... Mr. Fred over here, he goes, gets dung that the cow leaves behind as it eats and puts it in the fertilizer storage, which then I take out and put into here to create the seedlings. Uh, I've got, let's see, a bed. He goes and gets stuff from the, he goes and melts the cow when it's full and puts it into the butter churn. And after the second time it produces butter, he takes it and dumps it in the storage here. Uh, there is uh, actually milk storage so i'm gonna let this go for now until the butter fills up and then i'll set up a milk storage let him start putting stuff in there i've also done exploring around the island and found that the more storages you build of a certain kind they link together so you can actually accumulate a very large amount of storage as you can see here i have a total of 500 planks i can have uh i have a total of 500 poles and i have a total of 800 logs that i can actually grab a log and be done with it right here okay so i have got 146 logs in storage right now i've got plenty of room for more i'm about to turn these guys back on let them start harvesting the trees again i've got a full set of 10 wooden axes i have got a crude bench saw that was the one i originally placed there to make planks i've got one for poles and i've got uh this that i'm still using a little bit myself I've also moved my worker bot construction thing over here. Makes it a little bit easier. And I made a recycler, which actually works really well. You take one of these guys, you toss them in, and it gives you the components back. And that's really nice. So if I, since there's no way to actually unprogram them right now, it seems, and I can't delete certain things out of the programming, I've been very much doing a lot of save and loading to practice my programming methods uh but now if you mess up and you don't want to have that you know worker bot laying around taking up space you dump them in the recycler get all the parts back and then put them right here into the assembler and get you a new bot to work with okay so first i am going to take mr luke here who is not of the skywalker family i'm going to show him to take a single log out of storage place it in this crude bench saw and produce planks now i've already experimented with this there is a limit to what they can carry. So I'm going to have them carry only two at a time and dump it in. Now I'm going to set a repeat here. And what I'm going to do is have it go until storage is full. And then when I, it's got the question mark there, you click on that question mark and select the plank storage. He will go until the plank storage is full. And then you, to save it, you actually have to hit play button. And now he's just going to get there and start making a ton of planks for me. And now you can have them, there is a way to have them take the planks and then put them into their inventory, what that they're not actively holding. But to get it back out, then you have to cycle the inventory. So it would be ultimately just as many steps to do it. And while I could do a repeat, uh, the it, they've got enough storage space in their little brains that I can easily just do two at a time. And see, he's working away like crazy. No problems right now. So now I need... Gigi to do the other part of it, which is to take a plank and put it there. And I'm going to stop that because that I messed up there. All right, so we'll try that again. All right, Gigi, I want you to watch me. I'm going to take one plank. We're going to go to this bench saw. You're going to take two poles dump those two poles in here get the other two and dump them there and I want you to repeat 
until the whole storage is full and there you go all right now that means i have plank production up to 500 planks right now i have pole production up to 500 poles so all i have to do get like poles or planks just come right here grab it and go over here i can make more workers now that i've got that going we're going to turn on inga and you can see here it's to find the nearest log move the log pick up log bring it back to the storage done and she's actually running right now waiting for there to be a log around here and i got a guy in there that's a basic bot i think but or the crude bot he is there just to recharge the robots when they run out ah here we go here's dick and what i'm going to show is uh let's find out you see first he's going to find a pine tree he's going to move to it and he's going to use the held item which is his axe he's going to do this until log storage is full now i've been experimenting with this i think there's a way to make it work a little differently but he seems to get stuck occasionally where he gets stuck in a rapid loop giving like an alert as soon as i hit stop and play again he then goes here and says oh well my hands empty go here so there's some way that is better to set this up i just haven't figured it out yet but this is basically he'll go to the log storage is full which is 800 logs right now so that's going to take a while uh once his hands are empty he will then go and get the uh axe from that general storage and go right back to work so we're going to turn him on you see he's got like a big little circle there of where he goes to start harvesting trees so he goes to harvest trees and then drew here is going to go around and pick up all the seeds and start adding them down here to the seedling tray and you see i've got another one that is going to grab the seedlings and start planting them so the only thing i have not been able to figure out quite yet is the fact that how to get them to plant the seeds or dig the holes where i want them to go all right so now you can see he's stuck in this like i mentioned if i hit play again he just goes right through so i'm going to try to figure that out later and we'll probably do this game on a rare occasion maybe with the update saturday post uh of course maybe would make something monday video post but i will keep to playing with this game especially as it's being developed because this has turned into a very interesting game all right so i have to get some fertilizer real quick i have not put anybody on this job yet so i'm not sure how it handles the extra fertilizer once it hits like zero here we're gonna check that real quick let me see if i can actually add more fertilizer to it nope i can't add more fertilizer to it so I don't I guess it would be you know keep going until that is full and I don't know if it treats this full like oh the seedlings are full or the fertilizer itself is full all right so now I want to teach Mika Mika to hopefully take enough storage enough fertilizer from here that this will work And yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat until this is full. Yeah, okay. Play. So it's got no fertilizer needed right now. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So, okay. So he doesn't have a way to deposit it yet. So he's going to sit here and just wait for it to be available to dump fertilizer in. So that works perfectly there, which means now seedling trays just gonna keep filling up. I've got all this storage, you know, all these logs are being brought here and dumped in here. I've got all these tree seeds being picked up, put in the seedling storage, and this guy just going around chopping down trees. So once he runs out of trees here, all I gotta do is go around and start planting or start digging the holes again, and then this guy will start planting more seeds you see obviously dick is chopping down the trees a lot faster than these guys can gather up the uh dropped supplies because well you know dick is living up to his name i'm trying to figure out some of the other elements of the game still like the how to get the metal parts that i need really to build like a uh let's see what was it the metal workbench i want to be able to build that but it requires metal and i have 
metal ore, but not metal itself. So I gotta figure out what I'm needing to actually create the metal ore into regular metal. Uh, I haven't figured that quite out yet. I've got the router. I got windmill, which I'm assuming is gonna be some kind of wheat or flour. Uh, I, I think there's like a cereal crop you can get. Uh, of course, I've also got get shears going for the sheep. I'm not sure why I need the wool for yet either. Uh, I'm not sure if I even use the mushrooms or anything like that. Okay, so I've turned Dick off, so he's not going to be chopping any trees down for a little bit. Uh, giving time for the guy, other guys to gather up all the logs and give me a chance to dig some new holes for uh, this other guy to start playing saplings again because apparently the uh, these holes are too far out of his range where he's not detecting them and coming up here to place any seedlings. So I'm going to have to see if I can figure out a better placement for him maybe where he could do a little bit better job and get the trees growing all the way up there or I may have to build like another seedling tray up there for another robot to be able to plant everything. Okay so I've got almost all the holes dug again that I want to have and I am down to 18 seedlings left in the tray right now. So I've got a little ways to go before I uh, uh, can actually have enough to fill everything up here. And that's fine because I mean let's look, take a look. 183 logs still currently in storage and all I gotta do is turn Dick back on and let him get started chopping down again and this is just gonna keep growing again. So yeah uh, my production is already now getting into that point where it's gonna be massive you know capability I mean that you know, over 300 poles there over 200 planks I've got plenty going there so I need to start building some other stuff I kind of want to build some more uh, flooring and build kind of like a just turn this into the big production area to figure out how to get rid of some of this stuff okay so I've got another section of trees up here that is not far away but I want to make it quick and easy for them to be chopped down and replanted and all that. So I've actually set up storage right here. And what you have to do when you want to define what that storage is used for is pick up that item and go drop it in. And now you see that is treated as log storage. It will remain log storage until I destroy it. And it has access to all the log storage with every other container. And instantly I have access to logs here so I can easily get what I need. So now... What I'm about to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and get another wooden axe. And then I'm going to put it away in my inventory using the forward slash key. And we'll get four planks. And I'm going to build this second storage and turn it into another axe storage. So I have access for that. Then I'm going to work on getting the basic set up as far as harvesting everything. You see right here, now I'm going to pop that in, and bam, 20 wooden axes. And I think, uh, nope, there we go. Sam is doing his job still, even all the way over here, recharging. I want to put another one up here just to recharge all of the, actually I need to put two up here to recharge them so they can keep each other uh, recharged as well. And I'm not sure what to do with these little, like, I guess babies? Because they all look sad. And they all kind of whine when I pick them up. I'm not sure what to do with them yet, so I'm just kind of tossing them over here to the side. I am going to attempt now to teach Carl here how to plant uh, the seeds. Of course, now that means I have got to get... Where, where's Buddy Boy? Where, where's the harvesting guy? Oh, that's right. I let him run down on power. So now Jim is set. He's going to charge him up. And he has got trees to chop down. So he's going to chop those down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Carl understand that I want him to come here. Find nearest tree soil. Chop or, or place it. Okay, so now we're going to do until my hand's empty. And then. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I don't undo the. No, 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 no. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try this again. We're going to go and find tree soil. You're going to switch. You're going to find a seed. You're going to plant the seed. And then you're going to switch back to that. And you're going to repeat until your hand's empty. 
you don't have anything to switch to and then you're going to go here and collect from storage and you repeat that forever there we go okay so now we dump the shovel back in I'm gonna help you get some seeds going dude and now you're just gonna sit here and start planting seeds like crazy I hope Okay, one last thing before we end today's episode. I decided I want to go ahead, since now I've got everything moving really fast with the wood chopping and replanting, I'm going to need a lot more shovels and axes. So I went ahead and set up not far from my storage area, the a little basic thing. So this one is going to be set up for, uh, we'll, we'll make it line up right. So axe, shovel, uh, ready to go. So this one, Abby. We are going to teach you something new today. We are going to teach you to take a plank, put that plank there, take a pole, put that pole there. And you're going to grab that axe, you put that axe there, and then you're going to repeat forever. Let's just do it forever because what will happen is she'll go until she can't put this here and she'll get stuck there. That means as soon as one of the others takes an axe out, a spot will open up, she'll place that axe. And then she'll go and start making another one. So they'll be constantly going, which means I'll have to get to where I have just axes being pulled constantly for this to slow down too much where it can't keep up with the demand. So now we're going to do the exact same thing with Hank here, except Hank is going to be making our shovels. So you're going to go here, Hank, get the plank, get a pole, come here, place the pole. Then you're going to get this nice, lovely shovel here, and you're going to come over here and do that. And then you're going to repeat forever all right so now you guys know what you're doing now i gotta make one more bot and can you guess why okay i said i needed at least one more bot down here and that is because they're going to run out of power so i'm going to teach hugo to come here and recharge them and that way it gives him something to do keep them up and running and I don't think it's going to be anytime soon that he runs out of power. So I'll just have to kind of watch and see what happens when my shovels and axes are no longer being produced. And come down here and be like, okay, Hugo, now you've got reinforcements. Here's a fourth bot here. Who's going to keep you charged? So y'all can, you know, reciprocate, you know, keep you both charged up all the time. And you see, I'm not a fan of the seedling trays now. I really think I like just, you know, go dig a hole, plant a seed, be done. Because this one is moving so much more quickly. I mean, I've got 51 seedlings right now. But going back over here to my fertilizer. See, my fertilizer storage is now empty. It is completely empty. I don't have any fertilizer to actually plant another set of seedlings. I'm waiting on the Mr. Cow here to get done eating grass. And it's just not moving that quickly. So I definitely am going to have to figure out another uh, setup over here to get more, uh, you know, dung for fertilizer. Probably figure out how to do the sheep over here too. Maybe set up like a little processing station for these two. And I really think just taking the seeds and playing them is working better right now. So I've got two guys up here planting or, you know, two guys handling the seed planting by digging the hole and then planting a seed and going on about it. I've got two guys actually collecting wood logs now because there were so many logs being left laying around that one one robot could not keep up with it. I've got only one that's up here chopping down trees, and I've got only one up here right now that's worrying about recharging the other robots. So I'll have to watch for him to kind of run out of power where this whole thing breaks down. Then I'll bring another one up here and have him start recharging the rest of them, and we'll be all nice and happy you know dandy ready to go no problems but you know this is working pretty well uh still gotta figure out a few more things in the game and the game is in development so again if you try this game it is free go get it on itch.io links uh below in the description where you can go find it and download it check it out if you like it be sure to donate to the developers so you can help them out let them continue to work on this game and really build it out even more, make it even more complex, even more things you can do. And, you know, it, you're helping support somebody that's independent because this is an independent developer doing this. But yes, support the developer. Support this game. It is an interesting game. You know, it may not be for you. Uh, it may be perfect for you. May you, like, you might like this automation thing with the robot programming. 
Uh, it may be a little too complicated for you. That's fine, but go try it out for free today. And hey, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the game. If you liked it, if there's something you can suggest for my gameplay on it. Because I will be revisiting this on occasion with the new updates as they roll out for it. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also hit subscribe and tick the notification bell if you haven't already done so, so you can keep up with my content. Because I am posting six days a week right now. Uh, six videos a week coming your way, so plenty of stuff to keep up with. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can reach me there. You know, say hi. See what's going on in my life. I post some extra things there here and now, you know, on the Twitter and Facebook. But, you know, follow me on there if that's more of your style. And as always, thanks for watching, everybody. I am Mr. Spicy, and I will see you in the next video.